Uh, remember I've said our secular world believes that suffering is just a random thing. They don't, our secular world not only believe that. They, they not only believe that our suffering is a random uh, freak of nature. But they also believe that suffering has no purpose. And because suffering has, is random and it has no purpose, therefore suffering is to be avoided at all costs. And that kind of thinking and belief has infiltrated the church. So much so that Christians believe every time we are suffering, something is not right, something is wrong, and we must get out of suffering as quickly as we can and run away to comfort. But that's not what the Bible teaches us. There's so much suffering in the book of in, in the Bible and the book in the entire Bible and especially in the book of Job. So the Bible teaches us suffering is part of God's sovereign plan. God is sovereign and He's loving and it's part of His grand plan for us so that through suffering, His children will be purified and that through suffering, our love for God will be deepened, will be rooted, will be strengthened, that the foundation of our faith in Him will not be shaken. 